This is Patrick with Urban Legend RC Adventures. And today's video is on the, uh, let's just say a makeover of the iFly racing truck uh, that I've been working on the past few weeks or so. Um, I've been running this thing hard. I mean hard. And uh, I'm running so hard that one of the wheels, stock wheels, decided to... Uh, break loose from the rim and I end up wrecking then damage the uh, truck itself damage the wheel the rim and so that's why you don't see any wheels on there right now so uh, I did order some more rims for it and they have came in so this is mainly what this uh, video is about to showcase the new wheels that I bought for it and and I swear I am shocked. I mean, the size of them. Uh, I'm going to show y'all here in a minute, but uh, I want to show you all some effects of my wreck when the uh, tires uh, broke loose. Right here. Broke the windshield. That's one. And then knocked a nice little piece out of the grill and hood area right there and i actually cracked down here where the bumper is at but other than that that's the uh i think that's the only big issue i had after i wrecked that in the wheels so uh let me uh show you all these wheels now I think I've mentioned once I think I mentioned once before that uh I had some K Force wheels on another uh on a, another vehicle. And uh I didn't really have any uh good things to say about them because the wheels actually cracked while I was rolling, like driving fast and the wheels just cracked. And by me mentioning that, uh they wanted me to try some more wheels. Uh so these wheels right here are actually by K Force that I got, <clears throat> and uh, I was skeptic, but I said, "Why not?" Okay, let me give them a second shot, second try, and here we go. These are some big wheels. I haven't taken them out the package yet, but you can kind of see the size of them. Uh, take them out the package, but you see. KForceRacing.com Spare parts for RC models. Alright, let me pull these out so you can see the actual size of these wheels. It's crazy. And what I would do is uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's crazy. That's a big wheel. Not only how tall it is, but how wide it is. Now, I'll give you all a comparison from the other wheel, if you give me a second. So, all right, this is the comparison to the old wheel. Old wheels, new wheels. Now, look how much taller they are and how much wider they are. So this is going to give me way more traction. Going to gives me a little more height too, which I don't really want, but it's, it's okay though. It won't it won't affect it too much to what I'm I'm about to do with it. So uh but it's flatter. And they won't uh they won't balloon. These balloon and that's why they actually separated from the wheel and actually damaged the wheel. Uh like you see right here. Uh, came unglued, and uh, this one just one of the wheels that did it. It was actually another wheel that did it too. And you can see it damaged the uh rim around the lip area right here. Uh, but it still can be used for like some off road applications. I'm gonna put them on one of my uh, other trucks, but this bad boy here, 17 millimeter. Hex. See you inside. 
It's not glued, so I'm gonna have to glue these wheels. Uh, they did not come glued, which that's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a big deal at all. I can glue them, but I just wanted to show you all. And I, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them on a the truck just to show you all, just to show you all how it looks, and and uh, then I'm gonna take them off later on and glue them. But for this purpose of this video, I just want to show you all how it looks, and. Uh, and later on, I guess I have videos of how I perform. And, uh, yeah, so let me put these on and, uh, and I'll get back with you. All, all right, guys, here we go. I got them put on. Not bad. I mean, it gives it a mean stance. I mean, it's, it didn't really raise it up very much. Not like I thought it would. Uh. It made it heavier, a little bit heavier. Uh, I mean, it looks good. I like it. I like it. Now, what I may end up doing, because so far, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with it, but I may have to put some extenders on here. But it's not rubbing up against anything when it turns. So that's what I thought I was afraid of. But uh, actually, it's clean. It got clearance, the bumper and everything. So let's see when I put the uh, put the shell on. Uh, that's where we're gonna have a problem at, right there. So more more likely, I will have to raise up the shell. I will raise it up because right now it's at its lowest. Uh, the po raise raise the body post up because right now it's at the lowest. Uh, low as it could be and that was for speed run purposes uh so i will have to do that but other than that i mean that's it <laughs> that's it uh, i think i'll just have to raise up the uh body post that's it uh to make that work so the wheels don't rub the uh the body shell uh other than that i think we're in business but this is not the only cosmetic uh change i'm making to the uh i fly uh, i've been working on something and um i didn't know how it was gonna work out but it actually turned out to be pretty good uh Y'all give me a minute and uh, I'll be back. All right, so before I show you all the new, uh, the other new cosmetic change I'm making to the iFly, I decided to uh, raise up the body post and I uh, also raise the uh, suspension up, the uh, shocks. And I'm still, I will still have to do some trimming on the rear. A wheel well, and probably right here in the front, a uh, wheel well here too as well. So when it turns, it won't uh, scrub. Well, it's not scrub when it's turning. So really, uh, truth be told, just that back. Yep, just the back. It needs to be uh, Yep, just the back. Well, I guess I will need to do the front too because anytime it dips down like that, it'll scrub up against the wheel. So, yeah. So, I still do the front and the back, trimming it. Uh, other than that, the overall look, I mean, it's it's different. <laughs> Some big wheels. Uh, but anyway, let me show you all this new, this other, uh, the other and last. Uh, cosmetic change I'm making to the uh, iFly. All right, so this is the other little project I've been working on. The other little cosmetic change I'm making to the iFly RC. This right here is actually a new bright Jeep Rubicon uh, shell body that I found cheap on eBay. I measured everything out made it fit 
install some headlights, LED headlights, and also install some LED overhead fog lights. And if I turn it around, I do have tail lights up top. I don't have them in the uh, at the bottom yet, but that's because I really didn't want to damage the uh, tail lights and drill into them because they're in a tight spot, and uh, I just rather just keep it like it is cosmetically. But uh, that's that's the other that's the other change I made. You hear those fans going? You got the fan on the motor and the ESC fan there. 150 amp ESC running a uh, 1900 kV motor. Now she ready to squat. When she take off, she gonna squat just like that. Right now I got a, I got it dropped in the front, but I am gonna, I'm gonna even it out. I thought about keeping keeping a little uh, jacked up in the back, uh, but we'll see. I might just bring it down to maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Because I know she's going to squat big time, and I want to have that clearance. But yeah, this is it. The Jeep Rubicon body. With the 17 millimeter hex, they call these Bigfoot, the K Force Bigfoot wheels. But they also, like I said, they made for high speed. They flat. Um, I have to still glue them. Uh, but they ready. They look good. They look very good. And action on this Jeep body, I actually would have to. Uh, I guess. I would have to trim this little uh, edge on a bumper, just cut it that way. It don't, it's not in the way when I turn, but if I turn and maybe have to slow down and hit brakes and it squat down, it'll bend the uh, bumper in the front like that, which I, which is only there for cosmetic reasons. I mean, I could cut it because it's not going to stop anything. This is the true bumper here. So, uh, but yeah. That's all I would have to cut on this because the rest of it has a lot of clearance. I mean, and this truck won't squat all the way down like this when I hit brakes. I mean, it'll squat, but not all the way down as I press it down like that. So, I'm glad it just bounces back up. It's a good shocks. All right, y'all. This is Patrick with Urban Legend RC Adventures. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have many other videos coming uh, from just some informative videos to some adventure videos. Uh, if you like these wheels, I will put a link in the description about the wheels. Also, I'll put the link in the description for the LED lights. And if there's anything else you want to know about the Jeep bite or anything else, just leave a comment and I'll get back with you. Y'all take it easy.